Welcome back to the channel you guys. So today's video is going to be really simple. Whether are you traveling anytime soon or do you have your own personal combination of cards that you use for travel? Well, today's video I'm going to share with you my own on how I maximize my expenditures using certain cards and to get savings out of it. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around. It's going to be useful, I promise you. I'll share with you some real examples of when I use the card overseas and how much savings it actually brought me. So let's just dive straight into it. Alright, so the card that I actually want to talk about today is the U-Trip debit card. I'm not sure whether a lot of you have heard of this before, but it's honestly the best card you can use for your overseas travel expenditures. They offer really good rates and there's no extra fee involved in that. So because I'm heading to South Korea in a few weeks time, I have to apply for my KETA application before entering South Korea and it was $10,300 Korean won. And when I use the U-Trip card, when converted using their exchange rate, it actually only cost me $11.02 SGD. The rate was 934.66 Korean won. When I compared it to the real-time exchange rate at the money exchanges, as of today, it was between 934 to 938 which is exactly the same using the U-Trip card. And I guarantee you when you use your credit card, the rates are going to be way worse than this. And you also incur a fee called the DCC fee, the dynamic currency conversion fee that your banks will charge you for using the credit card and paying for it in their local currency. Try not to use a credit card when you pay for things in Korean won or in whatever country's currency that you're going to visit, but pay for it using the U-Trip card or any other company that actually offers such exchange rates. Right now, I'm only using the U-Trip card. That was one of the examples that I recently used. Another example was when I went into Johor Bahru. So when I went into JB, I actually went to a bakery and I saw that they supported MasterCard payment. So instead of paying it with cash, I used the U-Trip card to pay for my bread. And I incurred a total of $63.60 ringgit. But when I changed it to SGD on the U-Trip card, it's 19.98 SGD at an exchange rate of 3.18 ringgit per dollar. This is honestly the best ever. When I was exchanging my currency earlier that morning, the rate that I was given was 3.17 but on U-Trip it's actually higher than the money exchanger that you would get. This is why I'm putting the point across that using the U-Trip card, a card that gives you foreign currency exchange on the app itself is so convenient and it's such an easy way to actually save some money. I just gave you two examples of how I actually use this and how much the exchange rate offered on their platform is actually so competitive. If you are considering to sign up I do have a referral link down in the description box below. You will get $5 and I will also get $5. No obligations, you can also go directly to Utrip's website and sign up with them. You don't have to use my referral code but it's right there down below if you need it. Next up, let's talk about topping up the Utrip card and how you can earn cash back just for topping up into the Utrip card. How do you earn 1.7% cash back to top up your Utrip card? You use the UOB Absolute Amex card. So UOB Absolute Amex give you 1.7% cash back on all your top-ups to any wallets. I use this to actually top up my Grab Pay before using it to top up my U-Trip card which gives me 1.7% cash back in return. I use this card to pay for my insurance premiums as well. If you do not know what the UOB Absolute Amex card is, I do have a dedicated video on that link down below and also up above. That's my way of earning 1.7% cash back and how you can do it as well. With top-ups, it's easy. With every top-up, it's $20 minimum. The maximum that you can do per day, if I'm not wrong, is $5,000. So unless you're buying like luxury products, then that's another story. If you top up using a Visa card, you will incur a 1.5% service fee. So if you want to avoid doing that, make sure you top up your U-Trip card using a MasterCard instead of Visa. And if you're wondering, Demi, can I use that card to withdraw money overseas at an ATM? Yes, you can. U-Trip allows you to withdraw money at an ATM that supports MasterCard. So go overseas, find an ATM that supports MasterCard and you can withdraw with a fee of $5 per withdrawal. So when you withdraw at an ATM, they actually charge you a withdrawal fee of $5 SGD. More details, I'll link it down below at their FAQ page. Don't have to worry, if you're going overseas like me for an extended period of time, don't have to bring so much money, but you can use their competitive rates that they offer, pay a $5 one-time withdrawal fee, 
and it ensures that you don't get pickpocket one other thing and all your money is gone that for me is an extreme perk because with my current travels that is coming up I'm actually going away for one or two months and I don't have to bring so much money with me and be worried that someone might actually pickpocket me or I might lose the money along the way so with the Utrecht card it actually allows me to actually withdraw at an ATM and that is the convenience that I love about Utrecht yeah so all in all that is my video on Utrip. it is my recommendation for anybody who's traveling overseas and you don't want to bring so much cash with you even if you're not traveling overseas you are paying for things in foreign currencies use the Utrip card the Utrip platform actually gives you really competitive rates and also some platforms gives you cash back on your spending if you use the Utrip card I know Agoda is a partner with them as well so it means that when you spend on Agoda's platform and you pay for it using the Utrip card you get cash back for that as well so on top of getting 1.7% cash back using the UOB Absolute Amex, you can use the Utrip card on top of that and earn another cash back from spending with Agoda. So that is another perk as well. If you have any questions with regards to Utrip, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll find it out for you or I'll tell you based on my experiences. And that's all I have for today. Three more weeks and I will see you in Korea. The next few videos is gonna be about my money diary series. And if there's any other videos that you would like to see, leave them down in the comment section. I make sure I'll read through all of them and reply to you guys. So that's all I have for today. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Okay, one additional thing. If you're asking whether do I use a credit card overseas, I do use it if I have to, for example, this upcoming trip for Jeju's Lotte car rental because they only accept credit card I'm going to be using the DBS Altitude card where it gives you 3 miles per dollar for your travel expenditures uh, If you're interested in that, leave them down in the comment section below I'll do a video on that Yep, that's all I have, bye bye